Hi, I'm the Savage Rider, and this is my thoughts on the uh, Citadel DLC for Mass Effect 3. I nearly forgot what it was, though. Um, sorry, the visual quality isn't as good as usual. I've lost my camera, which is typical of me. Uh, yeah, so I want to get one uh, piece of housekeeping out the way first, if you want to call it that. Um, the Citadel DLC, if you're on PC or PS3, it's one download for you guys, and you're done. If you're on the Xbox 360, it's in two parts. This is a four gigabyte file. So, well, it's two gigabytes um, spread across two files. So, four gigabyte, four gigabytes total. Uh, yeah, so it will be on the marketplace as Citadel Part One and Citadel Part Two. You can't download Citadel Part Two and play the Citadel DLC because you need Part One to actually play it. Just see so you guys now. I thought I'd get that out there uh, because I only just found that out today. Um, this was announced um, last Thursday, I think. Last Thursday, this is the first chance I've had the chance to uh, first time I've had the chance to sit down and actually talk about it. I've been busy with work as usual, uh, and I'm going to be really busy next week. Um, luckily, I'm off on the day that uh, the still DLC comes out, so I'm really excited for it. Um, yeah, so all we know about it really is um, it's set mostly on the still. Um, we'll be visiting the Citadel Council archive room or archive archive room something. I picture that a bit Star um, Star Warsy. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is going. For some reason I keep picturing that a bit Star Warsy. For some, I don't know. Uh, maybe there's some scene in Star Wars and it's just triggered a memory. I've only seen the uh, um, the Star Wars the the original trilogy. I think three times and the the prequel trilogy once. There's only one. You only need one. <laughs> you only need um, to watch the original once and you're done. Um, well, the uh, the the prequel trilogy once and you're done. Yeah, but the um, the the others after that, the uh, the original three, you've only watched them about three times. If I'm perfectly honest, um, I'm not a Star Wars guy. Um, love Knights of the Old Republic. Off topic. I'm always going off topic. So yeah, you um, we see that, and it will feature the crew from the um, original uh, Mass Effect One and Mass Effect Two. Um, there's actually a, a screen where it shows um, Caden, Rex, uh, Garrus, Liara, and you see Miranda in the background as well. So um, that should be pretty interesting. Of course, I think if you're a save file, if any of those people died in the suicide mission or if they died during the events of Mass Effect 3, um, you probably won't see them. Um, I'm actually going to be uh, playing Mass Effect 3 to um, get my save file to somewhere appropriate so there are certain people still alive um, so I can see them actually um, in this DLC. Um, Zaid will um, still be showing up because um, sadly the voice actor Robert or Robin, um, I think it's Robin Sachs, he, unfortunately the uh, the voice actor died. Um, such a shame. Um, he was, uh, Zaid was one of my favourite characters um, basically because um, it was nice to hear an English voice in Mass Effect for a change and um, he was very much like Shepard. Um, in certain respects, um, I was kind of hoping in this DLC, you know, because we're seeing off the uh, the crew of the original Mass Effect trilogy, including Shepard. Um, I was hoping that in Zaid's um, last scene, it'd probably be in bad taste now, but he'd um, he'd um, he'd enact, re enact his um, suicide. Uh, uh, what, what was it? His his retirement plan. He planned to uh, get a shuttle loaded full of guns, bombs, and uh, um, and whiskey, and just uh, ride it into um into um Omega. Sorry, uh, I was hoping it would be, it'd probably be in bad taste now, but I was hoping to see that. So it it will be in bad taste now though. Uh, but it is nice that he's going to be in this DLC because um his voice work had been recorded. Um, I'm gonna have to play through this twice as well so I can see Ashley's side. Um, Ashley in there and Caden in there. Um, I do have two shepherds prepared for this. Um. And yeah, I'll, I'll I'll be reviewing it on the probably the Wednesday after it comes out because um, I do want to play through it thoroughly. Um, I never ever review anything unless I've played through it at least twice, um, and I will be doing it with my male and my female shepherd. Uh, my female shepherd being my main one. Um, we don't really know much about the um, the, the the DLC besides from it's set on the C Citadel. We'll be seeing the um, council archive room, uh, which I'm hoping there's like some 
things that have been swept under the carpet in there, such as the Reaper, um, the Reaper attacks. I know my screen's just gone dark and all that. Um, such as the um, the Reaper attack in Mass Effect One. Um, Shepard actually um, operating in the Terminus system in Mass Effect Two. He wasn't meant to be there. Maybe some files pertains to that. Maybe some files about the SDG work. Um, other things like that. Just if there's little things of interest in that, I'll be um, interested. There's also the um, Silver Coast Casino, Silver Coast Casino um, in the Citadel that we can go. And this can only mean one thing for me: Quasar. Quasar will be back. I used to love playing Quasar. Seriously, um, it never appeared in two or three. Um, I don't know why. I really did enjoy um, playing the a couple of rounds of the old Quasar. Um, so I hope that's back in there. Or maybe like a little mini um, poker game where you can uh, play with your crew, that'd be kind of cool. Um, especially if you could beat James Vega. I'd love to put him in his place and just like, yeah, I'm Commander Shepard <laughs> and I just owned you. So um, yeah, I'd like to play that. Um, I'd like to play a bit of cards with Jimmy Vega. That'd be, that'd be quite cool. Uh, maybe with Rex as well. Um, mind you, he could get quite violent if he loses. I can see him packing a shotgun underneath the table. But it's going to be the last time we see him um, off our crew from all across Mass Effect 1, 2 and 3, it's going to be the last time to send them off. Um, this is priced at 1,200 Microsoft points. Um, the second part, if you're on Xbox 360, the second part 2 is free. Um, I, um, it will be um, whatever the equivalent is on PlayStation. I really need a PlayStation so I can at least know the, how things are um, equated. So you, pay, you pay, pay with cash, don't you? So what, whatever 1,200 Microsoft points is, I think it's about around about the £10 mark or um, £8 mark, something like that. Um, yeah, so that's cool. And if you're on the PC, I believe it is 1,400 um, Bioware points, BW points. I presume that's what it is. Um, there's also the um, Reckoning DLC coming out, the multiplayer DLC, uh, which is coming out tomorrow. Um, I'm, we're on Monday today. It's Tuesday the 26th. Yeah, Tuesday the 26th. Um, I'm going to be online today, actually, on multiplayer uh, today to try and get some... Um, to get some credits to get some of the new characters. There's um, a Turian Cabal Sentinel, um, which I think is the fe like a female Turian from like the um, the Omega DLC. Oh, poor Nyrene. Um, there's also a Krogan Warlord who has a force hammer or something. It looks a bit like um, the hammer from um, the Halo games, the, uh, the big brute hammer. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. Gravity Hammer. Um, there was also, um, what else was announced? Uh, Alliance Special Operative. I uh, don't know much about that. Um, and I think there was one or two others in there, or I may have covered them all. Oh, um, in the Citadel DLC, there's the Armax Arsenal um, Arena or something. Um, I'm hoping that in that, the um, the droids from Mass Effect 2, the um, the mechs, the the little dog one, uh, the um, like the human human size one. I can't remember the names and the the YMIR, the big one. I hope they're going to be back in uh, back in for the um, the arena, and hopefully you can take your um, your old squad mates in there too. Apparently you do play through this DLC with your old squad mates. So if you want to take Rex out with you, you can do, which I'm super excited for. Um, I really want, pardon me, I really do want to take Rex and Garrus out um, just to hear them verbally sparring. So. Um, I, I, I miss that so much and um, of course you, we've always had Gar Garrus and Tyler together, I've always loved their dialogue together so this will be a chance for me to see Rex and uh, Garrus uh, verbally sparring once again um, yeah, um, I, think I've, I think I've covered everything well, there's a few more things about the Reckoning uh, DLC there's um, lightweight um, mat uh, material for your assault rifle, a couple of new mods there's the new characters of course, I don't think there's any new maps with this it's just a few new characters, a few new weapon mods and maybe a gun or oh, oh there is um, a few guns um, but off the top of my head I can't remember what they are uh, so I think I've been through absolutely everything I am super excited for this I will be reviewing it and 5th of March can't come quick enough 6th of March for you guys on the PS3 sorry about that I wish you guys really did get it on the same day so we could all experience it at the same time so um, yeah I am so so excited for this Leviathan was a bit of a letdown for me after reviewing it and thinking about it a little bit, I was thinking Leviathan just seems like it would added just to explain the ending a bit more and I, I really didn't like it. Omega I absolutely hated um, and hopefully there's going to be a bit more variety to this because they've said like you can customise your apartment and whatnot. Um, who knows what we'll be able to do with, um, do with that but um, it would be nice to see some Shepherd's Digs on the uh, Citadel. Um, you know, I'm sure his, uh, 
I'm sure he's got a quite nice apartment in but apparently it can be furnish it. Maybe it'll be micro transactions with real world money. Um, I've got the points already set up. Um, if it is micro trans transactions, I will buy them against my better judgment uh, just for a few purposes. Um, so that is absolutely everything. I think I've touched on everything. If you see me online, um, you know, you'll hear my voice. I'm always mic'd up. Um, you'll probably be, you'll probably um, spot me from my gamer tag anyway. So if you see me online, I'll be on over the next two days trying to get a couple of the new characters and uh, just to give them a bit of a bit of a test run just to see how they handle. I'm not a big multiplayer guy. Um, I mostly play on like Halo 4 online stuff like that. Um, I haven't really been on the um, the Mass Effect multi uh, Mass Effect 3 multiplayer much, but I intend to be on there today and tomorrow. Um, I'm hoping to actually get my Batarian from the first DLC pack. I still haven't got a Batarian. Give me my Batarian Bioware. So I think I have covered absolutely everything. I've been a 7 Strider and I should go.